Won't millions of Americans and millions of businesses pay the price because the White House and Senate Republicans can't get your act together? Well, Chris, first let me say I think that's an unfair characterization. Uh, the administration and the Senate Republicans are completely on the same page. Mark Meadows and I were up yesterday just working on technical issues in the drafts. We had previously agreed on all these issues earlier in the week. We want to move forward quickly. Uh, the, the bill will be introduced Monday, and we're prepared to act quickly. This is all about kids and jobs. There are a lot of people who are not going back to work because they know it's not safe. There's also an awful lot of people that don't have the jobs to go back to. So I think that this is all about uh, essentially a state of denial that we should just get the economy back and everything is going to go away. And as you pointed out, the economy is not going to get better until we have control over this virus. And so I want to know why you would let people suffer like this. The Republicans have had the HEROES Act for over two months sitting there in their chamber. Why would you wait until yeah. people are to the point of running out of their benefits? And they still haven't come up with a plan. So, They're fighting between themselves. We are going to be prepared on Monday to provide unemployment uh, insurance extension uh, that would be 70 percent of whatever the wages you were uh, prior to uh, being unemployed, uh, that it would reimburse you for up to 70 percent of those wages, uh, hopefully as a way to get people back on their feet. Uh, we're prepared can, can to I do that. Can I stop you right and, there, sir? Because yeah, state sure, unemployment sure. administrators have said that that's going to be almost impossible to administer and people are going to face real gaps before they get money. Well, we've actually uh, looked at that. I've actually been on the phone with Secretary Scalia, Secretary uh, of Treasury uh, Stephen Mnuchin. We believe that in uh, a combination of working with Secretary Mnuchin and Secretary Scalia, we'll be able to find a way uh, to actually provide a threshold that will meet that guideline. We will not support is the following. What they're saying to essential workers, you have to go to work because you're essential. We place no responsibility on your employer to make that workplace safe. And if you get sick, you have no recourse because we've given your employer protection. And if you don't go to work because you're afraid of being sick and you have that job opportunity, you don't get unemployment insurance. This is so unfair. Let's just get to the heart of it. At the point of all of this is this president I have a new name for him, Mr. Make Matters Worse. He has made matters worse from the start. Delay, denial, it's a hoax, it'll go away magically, it's a miracle, and all the rest. And we're in this situation that you spelled out some of the numbers very clearly early. Mm -hmm. So it make matters worse. Now then we'll send our children to school. The best way to send our children to school is to fund it. Don't forget, there's a $1,200 check coming. That is going to be part of the new package. I would have uh, preferred a payroll tax cut on top of that check, but be that as it may, politically yeah. it doesn't work. But the check is there. The reemployment bonus is there. The retention bonus is there. Uh, there'll be breaks for small tax credits for small businesses and restaurants. That's all yeah. going to be there. It's a very well-rounded package. Okay. It's a very well-targeted package. Thank you. And I think it's going to provide a great safety net until we get strong uh, recovery and um, try to be optimistic Jake it's, it behooves all of us people people need that money as soon as possible uh, people are worried about being evicted yes. In, yes. in days literally yes. in days